Hi, this is Stefan from Byte the Bytes, and in this video I'm going to explain you the concept between distributions and effects. I'm not going to show you all possibilities because it's really um, limitless, um, but you need to, just to understand what distributions are and how to apply them and how to use effects and what exactly effects are. So if, once you understand the basic concept, you will be able to try on your own all the distributions that we have here in work creator and all the effects and see what interesting combinations you can create with okay so first um, for the distributions or for this video i'm going to use a simple color only so i'm going to do a color material here i'm going to give it a quite a biased color like dark uh, like a like a very uh, red color here and then we can um, just see what distributions are and how to add them and what effects are doing. So distributions are um, actually telling World Creator what areas, what regions on the terrain should be affected by a material. So there's a plus icon here between distributions and there you have three types of distributions. You have noise distributions, you have layer distributions and you have terrain um, distributions. Noise distributions offer here a bunch of uh, simple noise functions. Um, that you can modify here with the noise settings and yeah they don't take the the terrain surface um, directly into account so they just generate a noise map and that noise map can be used to be apply yeah to apply the material on the terrain um, another option uh, um, type would be the um, would be the layer distributions these actually are depending on on further tools and features inside world creator for example if i'm creating a simulation layer let's take a fluid simulation here um, then this would be the result here and now to apply that material based on that fluid simulation i could either select the distribution layer then simulation and then select it here fluid and you can see what's going to happen the color is applied on um, on that part of the terrain that is um, yeah that is covering water where water was simulated Another option would be just like you're taking um, the simulation itself, pair drag and drop, and drop it here on the distribution. It would be exactly the same approach. So that that would be um, layer distributions. You can see you have area distributions it would be like masking, you have filter changes, you have um, model distributions, path, polygen, and river uh, um, distributions. Um, then we have the terrain types of distributions. Those are terrain surface related, like for example, you would have a height distribution where you can set a height range and within that height range, um, we could apply um, the color. You can see here. Or for example, you have a slope distribution where you can adjust the slope values and we create is going to color everything that is within that range of the slope. Now, um, you can see here that there are quite a bunch of terrain surface distributions. So we have really nice ones in here. As said earlier in this video, um, it's not possible for me to show everything in depth. So you, I highly suggest us to just to try them and see what the results are. Most of the names are kept, are kept very simple. So uh, for example, if you take roughness or height or slope or melt, these will indicate like okay, so, something is depending on on the um, on the terrain height or it's depending on the roughness of the terrain and all these things. Though these will help you a little bit. Um, one interesting thing about the distributions is that you can also add multiple distributions at once. Um, like you have here a slope distribution, then you have a height distribution here, and these ones, in this case, it's like the height is multiplying with the below one, right? So if I'm going to use the height um, distribution here, I'm going to use a height value that is below that we see here, then you can see that it multiplies with the slope what I'm changing here too, okay? So this is one of these typical things you can do. You're not relied to only one distribution. You can add as many as you want. You can combine them with different operations like multiply, add, subtract, min, and max. You can even um, um, use a slope distribution within a height distribution. Then um, a multiplication wouldn't uh, would not be needed to 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 use the multiply operation because 
the slope, the, the results of the slope will be automatically multiplied with the height distribution here as well. Okay, so now regarding effects, um, let me quickly adjust a little bit here of some interesting settings. Let me quickly see here. Um, let's take that one here um, without, um, without blended borders. Um, now effects um, perform a specific manipulation based on what the distribution results. So um, for example, here I have applied a height distribution that only defines a specific um, height region on the terrain and I can use effect to further manipulate that result. There are many, many effects in here. And um, for example, I would like to, to make that line here not non-uniform. So it should be like a little bit of noise added um, to the lower and the upper borders. So I could use a distortion effect based on the height. And with that, I can control how the applied height is used depending on what kind of distortion uh, things I add here. Another thing would be like I'm adding a edge effect, so I'm just getting the edges of it. I could do a uh, edge distance here and edge strength and mask out um, based on the height what comes out here. Um, and there are, of course, many, many further things like I could use a flow distribution here. Let me just quickly disable the straighter effect so you can see the flow is a little bit better here. And I could further manipulate the flow with, um, I could invert it, for example. So I get the inverted version of the flows. And this is all done with these, uh, with these effects. I could also apply a small flow on that flow. It will wash off things a little bit further and so on. Okay, so another thing that's um, important to note is that if you, for example, if you have another material, whatever kind of material, and you want to copy a distribution over to another material, you can use, uh, you can do so by um, pressing um, the left control and the alt key all together and drag and drop that distribution over to the other material distribution. And it will just copy the entire settings of that one over to it here. And you're done with that. Um, distributions can be also removed, just like drag them out or hit the delete key, just like um, the materials as well. Now, there's one special material that comes with another distribution, which is called a gradient distribution. So this is, uh, this is special because the gradient distribution tells the system um, how to apply the gradient um, on the terrain based on terrain features based on, the, on on special distribution features. So the distribution, for example, is just for adding, telling where the gradient should be applied. Let me quickly adjust a different gradient here so we can quickly see what's going to happen. So um, under distribution, adding a height distribution, I can exactly match what region of the terrain should be the gradient applied at all. This would be something like for example, like this. This is what we've seen with the coloring too. The gradient distribution now tells how to mask these colors um, and how to blend them along um, further distributions that I can do. So how are these colors blended within that region? Currently, there's just one thing, one color blended. It's, it's that one here. And we need to see how we can do that. All these range of colors are blended um, on top of this here. So what we can do is adding a gradient distribution and I'm using a very simple one, a height gradient. So what's going to happen is World Creator is now doing a height blending and applies the distribution, um, the color values here along this region here. Um, I typically use sometimes a, um, a very special coloring so I can see um, the blending a little bit better. I use that that topo map because these these colors are really you know uh, different, so you can see it pretty pretty well when you're working with distributions. For example, if I'm adding the ca uh, the cavity, I I can see immediately see how the color range is being applied on that one, um, and how the color range is applied is of of course also dependent on the settings of the distribution. 
So if I'm reducing the strength here for the cavity, increasing the step size, you can already see what's happening. And um, yeah, choosing different um, colors here, different gradients, you get different results, of course. Very easy, very quickly, very fast. So you get exactly what you need or how you can test things all around. Um, of course, the same things um, apply here too. So you could use a cavity and you could add, uh, add a flow on top. So it's now mixing things all together, um, creating these interesting results here. Um, there are many, many possibilities to do that. So as said earlier, it's impossible for me to show everything. So I highly suggest to experiment with these values and see what's happening with, with, uh, with each distribution. Okay, so this is the basic um, idea behind the distribution and the effects. Hope you enjoyed. And um, yeah, we're gonna post more sample videos where we're going to create terrains from scratch where you can see how distributions are used in a professional way, how we use the coloring and all that to color a full terrain entirely so it looks like a real terrain. Thanks for watching. Have a great day. Stay safe.